my dearest bride, my love, this word that proceeds forth comes from the throne of the living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hear me this day. This word is for the consolation of and the answer to the prayers of my dearest children, my church. This day I have given a great commission. My loves, your God, your King, has heard your words. He has heard your cries and he has heard your petitions. Hear me this day, for this is the answer that I send forth to my beloved bride. No longer will you, bridegroom, tarry. Midnight has come. The cry has gone out, and the wedding supper is prepared and ready for you. Go into all of creation and bid guests welcome. No longer will you point out the problem in the world. My warning letters and petitions have been sent out and they have been ignored. The world grows ever darker in expectations of the manifestation of the sons of the kingdom of God, your Father. Hear me, my children, for your living God has much to say to you in this hour. The time has come for you to take your posts and to rise up. No longer will I tarry. No longer will my bride tarry. For she has made herself ready. She has filled her vessel with oil. And now it is time to ignite her lamp. Now it is time for my light to shine brightest in the darkest hour. My kingdom is ready. And so are you, my bride. I told you to trust in me and to follow me. I told you that I will not disappoint you and that your joy may be full in me, your King. You have been downcast, downtrodden of the world and kicked to the gutter for your trust and faith in me. I have seen your long suffering. I have seen your suffering I have seen your meek and lowly attitude throughout your suffering. And now I say, for your trust and faith in me, it is time to rise up and take your positions of glory prepared for those who love God aforetime. My bride, my love, it is time. No longer will you point out the problem in the world, for the world can see that something is terribly wrong. The more you tell them, the more hardened their hearts become. Their hearts have become as hard as stone, and they will not listen to a generation of hypocrites. My bride, you are now to step up and to do your job. You are to come out of hiding, and you are to destroy the works of the enemy. I have given you power over all the works of the enemy. Live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God and I will perform it, says the Lord. The world is in chaos because they do not know their God. They do not know the King of glory. How can they, if you are not willing to show them? All the world says is hypocrisy. They do not listen to what you say because they have been trained by my enemy to perceive with the eye what it is that you do. How can you remove the moth from their eyes when you cannot see the beam in your own? Hypocrites will not enter the kingdom, my children. The kingdom of darkness has no power. No power compares to the power that your God has given you over sin and death. All things I have delivered unto you of my Father. I paid a heavy price for this. I do not pay this heavy price to watch you fight and bicker over who knows best. This is folly, my bride, my loves. Return to your first love and return to the unity of the brethren. The unity of the brethren has been compromised. 
This has been done so insidiously over time, and your God has watched it unfold from his throne. Now, I say, it is time to rise up. It is time to return to my word. For it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. This is how the world will know that you are my disciples, that you love one another. The world wallows in its own filth, and they are tired of it. They are tired of feeling alone. They are tired of feeling afraid. Most of all, they are tired of those who claim to know me, telling them that they will not go to heaven if they don't listen to you. Hypocrites. Again I say, remove the plank from your own eyes, and you will see clearly to remove the speck from their eyes. Again I say, the unity of the brethren is not a request. It is a requirement. Why would the world want what you have when it is no different to what they have? Are they going to listen to someone who does not practice what they preach? I paid a heavy price at Calvary. You mock my sacrifice every time you disobey what my word requires of you. Grace is not the license to sin. Grace is the ticket to get back up, to dust yourself off, and to press on. It is the tool needed for you to finish the race, for without it, you will never cross the finish line. My bride, rise up and show this generation what my church is. Sell all you have and give it to the downcast and downtrodden. Who is the downcast and the downtrodden? It is you, my wanting bride. It is you. This day I tell you, the church will function as it was intended when you go back to basics. Forget what your neighbor tells you and remember what your God tells you. Have I failed you yet? No, I say. Your God never will fail you. The church was designed with structure and integrity. It is not being fulfilled in the buildings that teach religion. They know me not, for I say that the Father is seeking such to worship him in spirit and in truth. If either one of these two attributes are missing, it is not genuine worship. It is counterfeit. You have deceived yourselves into thinking that you know better than God, just as Adam did. And I will spew out of my mouth as a foul test. I will no longer suffer. The kingdom of darkness is prevailing over you because you do not know what you have been given. Enough with the hypocrisy, my loves. I call you hypocrites because I love you. A father chasteneth a son whom he loves, does he not? My loves, return to me and fulfill my word. Fulfill what I have asked of you to the turtle, and you will wonder why you didn't do it sooner. I say, where your heart is, there your treasure is also. Enough with excuses. For if you come before me with those excuses, I will cast you into outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, just as I will do the unprofitable servant. What have I given you that you despise of me? When did I instruct you to argue amongst each other? When did I tell you to compete with each other? I, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, surely did not instruct any of this. The devil, my enemy, did this while men slept. Arise and awaken, put on the new man, and die to yourself. Only then can I work with you. Only when 
you take your mind off of the throne, will I be able to show my power through you? Do you mock the sacrifice of your God by living a life of disobedience? Arise, my loves, arise. Go into all of creation and preach the gospel of the kingdom, for it is time. By this the world will see, and they will follow like never before, in record numbers. Arise and awaken my loves, forget the foolish virgins, for they have had time to purchase their own oil. Yours is precious, my beautiful bride, for you have made yourself ready. Arise, my loves, awaken to all that I have purchased for you. Your Lord, your God, your provider, your redeemer, the one who lives, the one who saves, the one who offers internal life, I ask, who will receive it, and who will reject it? The choice is your own. I instruct you this day, this hour, this moment. Arise. Take your place for the creation grounds in expectation of the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. Arise, my loves. Take my word with you wherever you go for it is your fortress and your life. It is your shield, it is your buckler, it is your armor, it is your peace. It is your sword, it is your life. Arise, my loves. Take your place and destroy the works of the enemy, for I have commissioned you this day. Return to your first love, return to your king, as obedient little children, and you will turn the kingdom of the enemy on its head. He has been hiding this from you, but surely I tell you.